Alright guys, Touch Grubber here back again today. Hope you're enjoying your Saturday so far and today we're going to talk about roster mania rumours once again, mainly focused around the Seattle Surge. Over the last couple of weeks we've heard this rumour that came to light with this team. Octane of course staying on the squad, Gunless potentially, Pristini potentially and Looney potentially being the last three to finish out that team. However, over the last few days some tweets have certainly come out and especially last night implying that that may no longer be the case. What's going wrong for the Seattle Surge team? Once again, Octane last season talked about how Arsenal and Envoy was meant to be a squad last season before that kind of fell through and they went over to, the, well, the Chicago Huntsman. This season it may actually be a beneficial thing for the Seattle Surge if they can get a guy like John, as we'll talk about in the coming minutes here, or even a guy like TJ Halley, who may not be signing to the Opta Gaming Los Angeles after all. We're going to be talking about these potentials. What else could be going on though behind the scenes? It's very uncertain right now for a number of these organizations, despite having a lot of confirmations already throughout this crazy Vostomania period. Like if you guys enjoy the video, subscribe if you're new as always. I would greatly appreciate it. it helps out the youtube algorithm all of that good stuff how have you guys been enjoying the alpha so far as well saw this from teddy rex yesterday this uh, like g slide kind of thing from black ops 3 almost coming back i think it has something to do with the ledge that he's sliding off but you know things like this i think will be fixed by the time the beta comes out the slide mechanic i believe is going to be changing to some significant degree i honestly had a lot of fun playing it last night but um yes when skill-based matchmaking kicked in wasn't quite as enjoyable that must be said and uh, well as you can see it's trending actually here on the bottom right hand corner of the screen let's get into things then to a few days ago, we talked about Gunners, like, did he sketch on Seattle? What exactly is going on? As Cronut CDL Intel points out here, Octane tweeted out, well, it happened again, sad face, on the 12th of September. Something potentially going on behind the scenes. We talked at the time, like, okay, it's Gunners, like, did he decide to leave this team going on to Opta Gaming Los Angeles? Given that at that time, the rumor was coming out that Priester was no longer on OGLA, and he was potentially going to the Minnesota Rocker as it turned out. And maybe, uh, well, maybe Gunners was an option to fill that kind of flex role on that team with TJ and Kenny on the SMGs. Slasher, of course, is the main AR. Got a similar tweet as well from Pristini at the time, like all these sides that, uh, well, indicated that something was going on with the Seattle Surge rumoured lineup that we will look at right here. So this is the rumour, at least as the current time, and has been really for a couple of weeks now. Pristini, Looney, Gunless and Octane. Now, this is a strange team, in my opinion. Like, if this was the actual Final Four, I definitely would have a big question once again ready for the Seattle Surge management, to be honest, because Octane and Gunless, undoubtedly, like, you know, one of the, the strongest flex assault rifle combos you could possibly put together in the entire game but your SMG line is just not going to be competitive frankly with a lot of these other ones that have been put together in my opinion at the very least. Pristini and Looney are both very serviceable players they can certainly add a lot to the team in terms of the vocal factor and Looney especially Pristini has that kind of take over the game factor but they're relatively inconsistent players and they're not exactly fantastic slayers and they're not players that you know they don't have a ceiling in a sense like you know the maximum you're going to get out of these guys you kind of know the minimum you're going to get out of these guys it's not like a young talent like Hyde who could potentially be unbelievable like these guys are kind of capped in what they can potentially achieve so I think that Pristini or Looney you can have on a team perfectly fine but you want to pair one of these guys with an actual SMG slayer in my opinion like a John like an Apathy like someone like that Apathy it looks like as you can see here is going to the Los Angeles Grillers alongside Silly Assault and Vivid reuniting three quarters of the world championship winning team from the 2018 season on Evil Geniuses where they had Aches instead of Vivid on this like core three of the squad so that leaves the question is another SMG SMG coming into the surge, a more considerable option, right? Like, are Gunless and Octane looking at this SMG duo, looking at some of the other SMG duos that are being formed right now and thinking, you know, maybe we need to upgrade one of these players, if not both of these players. Who knows what's going on? But it seems like Gunless may be staying on the surge for now. These are some of the things that have happened over the last few days. So Opta Gaming confirmed, more coming soon with the um, the ice emoji. This definitely referred to TJ Halley, consider the ice man, coming back onto this team in addition to Slasher, Kenny and Drazak. Probably going to be a substitute for this squad as it stands right now but they definitely hinted at TJ coming back at some point but it seems like they let him go with the intention of signing him back through free agency I suppose with a you know with a lesser contract or with less money on the table however that does give the opportunity for him to potentially go elsewhere but um, yeah it's definitely been talked about that TJ should be staying on this team but a couple of people have been saying over the last few days that uh, well Slasher hasn't been too happy on stream maybe that's because TJ is going elsewhere these are some of the tweets that we saw last night from the Seattle guys Pristini tweeted this out I'm done it piles on free agent for next year man someone let me know so Prasini effectively saying that like this team that he was going to be on fell through saying he's a free agent once again someone reach out to him someone like pick him up I suppose 
Thanks to Blind Event for pointing this out to me because Abizi replies with can't believe this is happening and actually blows my mind. So definitely saying that Abizi either he's just taking this tweet at face value or he also knows behind the scenes that it's fallen through for Pristini and um, this squad is definitely not going to be the case for next season. So where does Pristini go if he isn't on this squad and who else isn't potentially on this squad either? Because Looney then says pissed off is an understatement. Kind of I'm not sure exactly what this could mean. Could this mean that Looney has also been released from the team or could this mean that uh, you know he maybe wanted to play with Pristini and uh, Octane and Gunners or whatever have decided they don't want to move forward with that option and now you know Looney's kind of annoyed at how the situation has gone down maybe also Looney's gone for the team who knows definitely looks like Bustini will no longer be on that team though no, based on this tweet we just looked at um, seems pretty straightforward to me in terms of reading into this one he also tweeted this out man I'm sick of hiding feelings to look professional for everyone seeing my tweet I've cried so many times this year and it seems to only ever get worse I'm sick to my stomach from this entire year and um, thanks to the codfather for pointing this out in my discord and yes this uh, well since got deleted as really is the custom with professional Call of Duty players. This came out as well. Interesting timing here from Serge Bob. Rostermania got me in a mood, saying that, uh, well, he's pretty happy with how this team is working out. So maybe they've secured a deal which uh, upgrades their SMG duo, which if I had to guess what's going on right now, that is the most likely outcome. Maybe upgrading one or both of Looney or Pristini. And we'll look at some of the options here in just a second. Joey said a similar thing then. Joey Nubsy, the coach at the Seattle Surge. A roller coaster of a day, but things always work out and get better. I hope everyone has a great night. So yeah, definitely implying that something's gone on with this squad. Something's gone wrong with this team, you know, one way or another. And maybe once the off season is over, we can start to hear about exactly how all these things did go down behind the scenes. This was some of the discussion as well over at the Reddit. Slash has been really annoyed on his stream. I can't say I've been watching too much on his stream, but if you guys have been watching, maybe you can, uh, you know, I suppose verify this in the comment section below. But that may be because TJ hasn't re-signed yet. TJ may be considering other options because let's just consider the fact that on Seattle, you've got Looney as it is rumoured right now, even though we did look at that tweet but it's unclear exactly what that means Gunner's still rumored to be on that team TJ as well of course potentially could go onto that squad as a team of three that have played with each other in the past then again it also could have played with um, you know Gunner's over at OGLA if that rumor comes true but I definitely think some of these players will end up between these teams to some year or to some degree this then is TJ Halley's career just to look through in reference to some of these squads. Kind of an interesting point I thought was that Classic and Slack obviously have played with TJ back in the day in late Advanced Warfare. And Classic and Slack are guys that have had good success with Octane in the past. So it's not out of the question that Pristini and Looney are both gone. And uh, well, they're considering options like Classic, Slack and you know, TJ to come into the team if he hasn't signed with the Opta Gaming Los Angeles as it looked like he hasn't right now. And just to clear up as well, the Rise Nation squad that had so much success in the latter half of the World War II season was Looney, TJ, Gunless, and Slasher. So, well, a lot of combinations and a lot of history between these guys, between the Opta Gaming Los Angeles and potentially the Seattle Surge lineup. Who is going to go there? It is, of course, very uncertain right now. So this is the image that I kind of added something to. If TJ Halley doesn't go on to OGLA, then of course Seattle Surge seem to be looking for a new SMG. Gunless and Octane, I imagine, will stay. I think the Gunless to OGLA thing kind of fell through or didn't even happen in the first place. So Octane, Gunless potentially are still going to be here. Then you've got Pristini and Looney, currently the SMG duo. Pristini, it looks like, isn't there anymore. Is Looney even there anymore? Who knows, right? And John, we talked about this entire season long. If he was allowed to play, the spot which he most easily fits into would have been on the Seattle Surge squad, right? Like, given his history with some of these players in the previous season so John and Octane as like a duo have done pretty well in the past as well so yes yeah, certainly John to this team if he actually is allowed to play would make a lot of sense for him to come back into this lineup and uh, well Octane Gunless John plus Looney like maybe that could work great maybe TJ considers here so TJ reuniting with Looney Gunless and Octane is the main AR Octane is the only one who's absolutely guaranteed to be here given he has been signed for next season then of course that leaves the question if Seattle Surge has completely been blown apart and Octane Gunless maybe there was a duo the S SMG is a very uncertain right now, like John, TJ Halley, these kind of guys could be considered in addition to Pristini and Looney on this team. Then you've got to ask, what do Opta Gaming Los Angeles do, right? And who do they get as their fourth player? If Kenny and Slasher are the only guaranteed players, and Slasher doesn't seem to be too happy with TJ potentially not re-signing yet, or considering his other options, who do they get into the team, right? Do they target a guy like John? Are they forced to bring in Draza, like, as their ideal substitute situation into the starting lineup again? Or do they have some other options lined up? Or do they just, like, 
pick up the scraps, I suppose, of the Seattle Surge team. But, you know, do you want Fustinio Looney back onto this team? You know, you definitely don't want both of them, in my opinion. That would have been a big mistake if uh, Seattle Surge had moved with that. So I'm happy um, you know, that Seattle Surge have decided probably to go a different route as it looks like right now. But, of course, uh, it's a difficult one for Fustinio Looney, having had this option on the table potentially, and now, you know, potentially, of course, getting taken away from them when a lot of other teams have already solidified their rosters and set in stone, to be honest, for the next season. So very intrigued to hear your thoughts in the comment section below on this one. Do you think Seattle Surge have made a change? Do you think they should have made a change? And where does it leave a number of these teams? And where does it leave John especially, right? Will he actually manage to find a lineup? Is he allowed to play for next season? He's a big question mark. Probably should have put multiple question marks in this one. And um, yeah, definitely leaves OGLA in an interesting spot as well, given that this slasher, Kenny, TJ and Priester team that was rumoured, you know, in my opinion, was one of the most potentially fantastic teams in the game on paper. That obviously fell through. And now, well, it's not looking so good for OGLA at all, given how many other powerhouse teams have been formed over the last couple of days. Just to finish off the video here with, I thought this was pretty funny. Crimsix and Nature that are back and forth about the HBR a little bit ago. I'll just leave this on screen for you to talk about. You know, you pulled out an HBR because everyone was getting trashed on in that series, but it was the wrong gun at the particular time. And this clip came out as well from the Courage and Nature show. No courage on this one, but just Nature and, uh, well, Clayster and Crimsix talking about how Crimsix had splashed out onto military grade night vision goggles. This is one of the most hilarious clips I've seen in a while. Hope you guys enjoyed as well. Thanks for watching as always, and I will see you next time. You're gonna like this. <laughs> this is I was so like, stupid. I was like, I was like, listen, what's the best night vision goggles the military can get? And I was like, I was like, I want those, right? And he's like, dude, they're they're a lot, man. Like, and night vision goggles, like one, like even you get crappy ones, they're they're still expensive. I was like, dude, I want the helmet, I want the mount, I want the, I want to like be able to walk to my dog dark you know yeah I, yeah bravo <laughs> six going dark <laughs> except it's crim six going dark and uh and uh yeah so i made that order how and, much uh, did you spend because i know that's got to be at least like probably like five to fifteen thousand dollars if not more oh bro tell me <laughs> well uh, it was more than that wasn't it not do not send this to yeah do not send this to dana at all <laughs> We won't what, promise. What, Twenty-two, bro. Oh, Twenty-two thousand dollars on a pair oh. of night vision goggles, military Listen, grade. Yes, yes. Holy, f bro, but now, but like now, or something. No, but no, Nate. I invested the rest all, all in uh, cryptocurrency. You know, smart <laughs> man. Yeah, Bitcoin, <laughs> Ethereum, Litecoin, all that jazz.